Can you guys feel the excitement? There's an electricity in the air because it's SmackDown Live time. We're headed straight toward the pay-per-view, and tonight's SmackDown Live is the proving ground for the men and women of WWE. Here comes one of the most dominant competitors ever. Breathing fire and raining destruction like a dragon. A focused gaze on the face of Goldberg. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 270 pounds, Goldberg! Former WCW champion, a three-time champion here in WWE, and of course, a Hall of Famer. Hey, Goldberg has done it all, but Goldberg is still asking, who's next? The Strowman Express is rolling in, and his opponent, from Cheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! Braun Strowman has a mean streak a mile long. Yeah, and a proven history of not playing well with others. The monster is about to be unleashed. Brace yourself for impact. Part of what makes Braun Strowman such a dangerous superstar is his complete lack of concern for his opponent's well-being. Yeah, it's like Braun doesn't have a conscience. In the and Goldberg is heated coming into this match. His opponent said Goldberg should have stayed retired. He should have stayed at home with classic muscle cars. Well, Goldberg will have plenty of time for that, but right now he's looking to uphold a legacy of being invincible. No, no. My God. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. What's the best way to deal with an opponent like Strowman who throws such massive clubbing blows inside the ring? Well, step one is don't get hit. But step two is even trickier, and that's to try to get in close to attack, where it'll be harder for Braun to... Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. And he very quickly counters. The monster's on a rampage. Goldberg has been figured out. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Enough already. Carefully measured knee drop. <laughs> Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Counter by the big monster. Great wherewithal from Goldberg. In the face. Oof. Where's the haymaker? Working on the leg. A continuous attack on Strowman. I love this. The distancing in this match. Are we on the verge of a monster being slayed? There it is. The spear. And Goldberg's competition is wishing he had kept his mouth shut. Well, the opposition was in trouble when they woke up this morning. Now it's even worse. And that stops whatever Goldberg had intended. Plant. What an attack. In some ways, you have to respect Braun's savagery inside the ring. Uh, speak for yourself. Braun's lack of compassion scares me. No, no. My God. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. This could be the beginning of the end. Goldberg. Jackhammer. Goldberg drops the finishing hammer. Two. 
He stays alive. He stays alive. I thought it was over, guys, but goes to show just how difficult it is to keep Braun down. Throw your best at him and still doesn't produce a pinfall. And Goldberg's angry. Goldberg is getting that look in his eyes, saying, you want more? Then bring it. No, no. Oh, no, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Goldberg so dominant. Goldberg's offense is debilitating. Ooh. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of a submission here? Wearing that area down here. Can you believe Byron? The monster's in a submission. How tough is Braun Strowman? I thought he was going to tap, but maybe not. Rolls through, and that'll force a break. Great move. Military press. Ooh. Just dead lifting right there. The power. Superhuman. Could be the end for Goldberg. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. It's astonishing. The perseverance that Goldberg possesses is on another level. As a puzzled look comes across Strowman, he is no... And here's the monster along man. Corey, look at the power. Boom. Will Braun follow it up? Rope break. Pin stops. This is getting into him. Goldberg counters with authority. Arm ringer applied and followed by a Larry right to the face. You've got to wonder how much has been taken out of these superstars thus far. And is there. He thinks he has it. Competitors digging into wells they didn't even know existed. Oh, and a stop. What now? Foot right to the belly. Braun got out of there. Full speed running body press. The monster among men. Just like that, Braun gets pounced on. All the power of Goldberg is set to erupt. Goldberg setting him up. Here it comes, Byron. We're gonna see it. We're gonna see it. We're gonna see the down with the jackhammer. Will that close Braun up? Two count. Three. Guys, he put him away. That's a pretty big win. Corey, I think that may be the biggest win of that young man's career. It's hard not to agree with you, Cole. It was an incredible victory. Yeah, I mean, a hard-fought matchup. And that's a great show of respect. Tremendous sportsmanship. Gotta love it. A massive presence in the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Dakota Kai from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. Alongside Dakota Kai, Raquel Gonzalez won the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and were the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Raquel Gonzalez, definitely a woman you want in your corner. A true powerhouse of the game, physically outmatches everyone she steps into the ring with. And accompanied by Nia Jax from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Sheena Baszler. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. She's been training for this match for quite a while, and she plans on making a statement here tonight. Raquel Gonzalez out here now, and she's quite the commanding presence. Does whatever she wants, whenever she wants. The towering Texans come looking for a fight, and she's getting one come hell or high water. And tonight, Corey, I expect she's going to use her size and strength to bring her opponent to their breaking. Shayna Baszler, a competitor who's made... Uh-oh, she has trouble coming. Not going to be easy to get out of this. Getting it cinched in. The submission. Oh, just like that. Delivers the knee. The superstar thinking ankle lock. 
Two options. Tap. Ankle lock is cinched in. Nowhere to go. Okay. And the rope saver there. Right to the leg. Specifically targeting the leg. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. Gonzalez dies the attack. She adjusts it and reverses it. She'll forget it's a marathon, not a sprint. So, if she can focus on maintaining a high level of stamina, she'll definitely be better for it. You establish dominance. Oh, that might have just broken something. More fight there than she may have expected coming into this match. Yeah, Raquel used from the top. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. And shoulders are down. Two. And still hanging on. No celebrations yet. Look at this. Snap suplex. Baszler being dismantled. No, I don't see Shayna struggling much longer. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Oh, one step ahead of Gonzalez there. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. Body slam. Trapping the leg here. Oh, look at the torque oh. on the spine. Camel clutch. And Baszler hitting that move with authority. Could have broke. No, she, she breaks it. Big escape there. Jarring European uppercut. Devastating kick. Gonzalez saves herself. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. A oh, submission. That stretch could lead to a snap. The submission magician. Oh, look at this power. Incredible power from the position she was in. Trying to chop her down. Shayna Baszler. Up and up. And just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. Stop right to the arm. Oh, break an arm. Ooh, cover. And for some reason, she stops the count. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Reversal from Raquel. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Look at this superhuman power. Oh, man, what a power bomb. Lights out for Baszler. She's done. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal four. Back by the counter. Shayna hooked up. Blow it over. Go. Look at this again. One more time. Just ragdolling her opponent. Another. Gonzalez is in a daze. This could be over soon. Faisal with the underhook. Here it comes. To the yeah. blue driver. Into the submission. Is she going to tap? This is excruciating. Look at the body. Look at how her body is. A body shouldn't bend that way. And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? Trapping the leg here. Oh, look at the torque oh. on the spine. Camel clutch. And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. 
This is a very powerful... Oh, man, what a power bomb. Gonzalez was right on target. Two, three, no, two count. Baszler summoned everything within her being to stay alive. That was fighting spirit person. Hoisted over into the gory special. Could be looking for a submission here. Oh, this is so painful. Just getting all twisted up. The submission magician in a submission. Can you imagine a Baszler were to tap out? And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. Gonzalez was scouted there. Baszler has the cure food of clutch. She's got a great time to legs. This is over. I'm not sure there's anything she can do here. She is tap out. Shayna Baszler gets the win. Here is your winner, Shayna Baszler. They went the extra mile in this win. I agree. What a win. I can't even imagine enduring everything we just saw. Shinsuke! The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, King Nakamura. The king of strong style, almost floating into battle to defend his kingdom. And just watching this man enter the arena is an experience alone. And how intimidating must this be for his opponent? Thousands upon thousands of WWE fans in unison as one voice to greet Shinsuke Nakamura. And it is an incredible atmosphere. Oh, yes. Time to get down to business. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. A relentless competitor, always fight night. A smash mouth brawler with technical brilliance, Philly style. Has he ever cornered you in the locker room area? Once. Yeah, he got me too. Most miserable experience of my life. No doubt though that he can get it done in the ring. The first thing you notice about a guy like Shinsuke Nakamura has to be his swagger. Look, Shinsuke lives the rock star lifestyle in and out of the ring. It's difficult for anyone to take their eyes off of him. Well, we'll all be watching closely to see how this rock star affairs in this matchup. And what can you say about Drew Gulak other than he's a man who has dedicated his entire life to mastering wrestling? He's a no-frills competitor who is all about substance in the ring. Even I it's that incredible mind for wrestling that makes him a constant threat to any superstar that crosses his path. Into the German. Oh, man. Producing a trampoline. Gulak turns it around. Uh-oh. Part of what makes Shinsuke Nakamura's attack so feared is his mastery of both precision and power. Do you think he brings that savage expertise to bear in this match tonight? Well, for Nakamura's sake, I hope so. He needs to be focused tonight, and planning knockout strikes with pinpoint accuracy could be the key to getting the better of his opponent. What impact. Four. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara on bar. Oh, that'll weaken your arm. Ooh, what a damaging blow. 
Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Drop kick. It hits the mark. Finds the answer for Nakamura. Shoulders down. No, a kick out. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Big oh. impact. Oh, Northern Light Suplex. Kick out in one. Getting the shoulder up before end is not near. Oh, red right in there. Oh, look at these kicks. Well placed. Ow. Strikes. Eesh. Oof. Ah. Oh. Boom. The exclamation point. Say what you want about Shinsuke's brash rock star attitude. You can't deny his pension for crushing his competition with attacks like that. Across the top rope. Rumble. Reversal from Gula. Whoa, the Southern Lights suplex. Can he score the pin? No, he pops the shoulder before three. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Drew looking to cinch it in. There it is, the Gulak. The Gulak locked in. Gulak's got the Gulak locked in. The king of strong style close to tapping. He's flailing, desperately trying to get out of this situation. Oh, great counter. Side slam. Nice. This could do it. He kicks out at two. Somehow, some. Hooked him up. And a suplex. Steps through into the arm bar. Traps the leg as well. This is trouble. Into an arm bar. Submission move locked in. I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out yet. Oh, man. Quick as a cat, just like that. That was a thing of beauty. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Quickly slips behind. German suplex release. He's on his heels a bit now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. Scouting pays off against Nakamura. Oh, impressive counter. Ooh! Oh, and a front thrust kick. Gulak sidesteps. Look at this. Snap suplex. Up and down. What a gourd buster. Drop kick right on point. Ow! And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. But still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Gulak turns it around. Whoa, the Southern Light Suplex. You don't see that very often. He may get the three count right here. Victory. Here is your winner, Drew Gulak. An important victory for him in this match. All handed to Drew Gulak. His research and studies got him a win here tonight. Oh, here come the men near the head of the table. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 479 pounds. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions.
Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. You know, back early in their career, they were held down by uh, some very, uh, well, bad managers, but they managed to grow through the years to become one of the all-time greats. The sons of WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi, Jimmy and Jay, one of the most exciting teams of this generation. The raid has arrived. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, have held the NXT and the Raw Tag Team titles, the Viking Raiders. These two have never met a fight they didn't like. Two of the toughest superstars you will find around these parts. And we're on our way in this tag team matchup. There's a pecking order in the tag team division, and one of these teams is jockeying for position at the very top. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Suplex, oh. here it comes. Nicely done. He catches Jimmy with a counter. Yeah. Oh, he's got him up high. Oh, the follow-away slam. Tags him in. Had that one scouted. And Ivar with the wherewithal to counter. Hooking it up here. What's next? Up handle suplex. There's the tag. Got to find a way to get out of this. Just top. Elbow smash. Hoisted all the way up, down into the power bomb. Set him up, Russian leg sweep. Not target of the arm. What you doing here, Corey? It's locked in now. Uh, he's in complete control, and there's the save. He takes control. Getting him into the corner. Knife edge chop. Oh, saw it coming. Oh. Suplex. Here it comes. Nicely done. Tag made. Tag made. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a ragdoll here. Stomp it. His arm vicious. He's looking a little off balance. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Yeah. For a schoolboy. Uh oh. Cold super kick. Cover, cover. Hey, wait, 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 wait. How can that be fair? Come on, ref. Keep these guys in check. Oh, look at this. Headbutt. Look at Jey Uso going top rope. Ooh. Launching. Rough landing. His shoulders are down. He's able to kick out before two. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Ooh. Ooh. Hard hit back in the corner. And Jay saw it coming. Jumping. Quality. He is a sight to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. 
Stop floating and put your attention back to the match. And tag. He's in now. Finally. Elbow smash. Ooh, top with the suplex. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. Just. And the rope save him there. But will he be able to last much longer? He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top, Eric gets countered. Headbutt to the back of the neck. What a chancery. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important. Belly to back suplex. No! Oh, oh belly to back suplex with the penalty kick. spot for Jimmy Uso. This is Uso's perseverance getting tested. Jay puts a stop to that. A humiliating slap. Ah, what a neck breaker. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. And he's... Oh there. my God, what an elbow. Ivar gets out of there. Take down. Oh! scouted this is what you call high risk high reward Uso Uso splash will Jay take advantage makes a cover and there's the breakup just in the nick of time connects on the kick Jay scrambles up the turnbuckle and he denies Ivar from the top Thinking big. Lift off. He paid for big time. As the wrist trap. Roundhouse kick. The end is looming now. Not you want to see by any means. Jay Uso can go back from this. After all, he has been down since day one-ish. What does that even mean? Nicely done. But to unleash some hellacious offense to bring things to his favor. Just a debilitating neck breaker. Looking to take flight here. From the top. Elbow drop. Up the turnbuckle goes Jay. Soaring. Diving from the top. Attempting high-risk move after high-risk move at a breakneck pace. Bam. Super kick! We got a cover! He stopped the count for his partner. And out of the ring he goes. Oh, John G, you have to wonder if these superstars can keep up this pace. They're certainly being taken into the deep waters now. Oh! Finds the mark. Oh! Here comes an atomic drop. Ooh. Ooh, it's ruthless striking. From the top. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Hip drop. I've been waiting to see that. Ball from the rope. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Ivar gets out of there. No, stops the count at two. How in the world did he kick out? A powerful suplex toss. Whoa. No. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Systematic attack on that arm. He's struggling a bit here. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Pop-up power 
SummerSlam. What power from this team. Ivar set up. Samoa Driver. Jimmy's eyes look glazed over. The cover. He breaks the pin. And Jay reverses. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Ah, oh, shot to the back. Mistake made by Ivar. Oh, late Lariat. Here he comes off the tag. Will it be? Two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders. Cena is here! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds, John! John Cena is a man who's always practiced what he preached. He embodies never give up and hustle, loyalty, respect. Now even his detractors have to admit Cena's dedication. He never gives anything less than his very best. From where I'm sitting, he is the greatest WWE superstar in history. Cena is a superstar in every sense of the word. In fact, he was referred to by Mr. McMahon as the Babe Ruth of WWE. Now, Cena's a guy who achieved success beyond anybody's wildest imagination. Guys, we're about to see a fight. I've been waiting a long time for this. And his opponent from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. Sheamus is as tough as they come. A man who betrayed Drew McIntyre, Cesaro, and the entire WWE Universe. Well, luckily, the Irishman's powerful enough to fight all on his own. Heading into this one, Sheamus said the disregard for his accomplishments is a disgrace, and it's time he's recognized for his greatness. That doesn't sound like a difficult thing to ask, Cole. Sheamus just wants his due respect. Appreciate this man's dominance and accomplishments. No one's dismissing Sheamus. He has a Hall of Fame career, and he's fully capable of allowing his actions to speak for him tonight. Also in the ring tonight is a man who is at the absolute top of this industry. Not only does John Cena sit on the mountaintop, but he invites any and all come. Time to go to school. Time to go to school. Figure four leg lock. The official asking him, is he going to fighting with everything he's got? And he breaks out of the figure four. Look at the power from Cena, face first. Given his history here in WWE, you have to think that what is Cena doing on the top rope? John Cena, you can't see me. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. This match grinded him down a little. Big right connects. Across the top rope. What a hot shot. Look at him total. Flying. Saving us from that. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Wow. Uh-oh. Elbow drop to the knee. Well measured. 
Oh, tossed aside. Cena dodges out of that. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, with authority. And he'll come back from under the apron. And now he's giving you all another chance to simply take it all in. Up and... Oh, knee right to the spine. Oh, hip drop. You see why they call him Big Matt John. Yeah, the greatest of all time. John Cena, the 16-time world champion. Man. What noise? This is over. And will this be enough? One, two, he narrowly avoids the count. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. I knew Sheamus had this. Makes the cover. Two, three, Sheamus did it. This superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean... He's got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. Well, I kind of did too. The head of the table. The tribal chief. Protecting his Samoan family legacy on top of the food chain. A main eventer since day one. But now the tribal chief is tougher than ever. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds. The WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. While some people may question the change in Roman's attitude, you cannot deny he still works harder than anyone in WWE. Takes no opponent lightly, engages in psychological warfare even before the bell rings. And there is no question about it. Roman Reigns is one of the most dominant competitors in WWE history. Oh, he'll show why he's at the top of the food chain. <laughs> Just a different feeling in the air when WWE's resident superhero makes his entrance. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet, one of the great high flyers in WWE today, but Corey, how would you compare Ricochet to the high flyers of the past? You can name some of the all-time greats in Rey Mysterio, Shawn Michaels, superstars who truly excelled in the sky, but none to the level that Ricochet has. The future of flight about to become the present right here in WWE. Here's Roman Reigns, who has declared himself the tribal chief of WWE. Yeah, Reigns thinks only he has the strength and wisdom to be the face of this industry. Well, we'll see if Reigns is able to tend in this matchup. And then with Ricochet, you know he's willing to step up to any challenge that is presented to him. Steps up when it's not the wisest of decisions. At times, he's got more heart than brains. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. Launching. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Wow, what a drop kick. There's some power behind that punch. Jumping knee strike. Playing it in. Attack from behind. Neck breaker. 
We know Ricochet loves a quick pace, Corey. How does one combat against that? That pace can cause Ricochet to get overzealous at times. So maybe baiting him to miss an aerial maneuver can open up an opportunity to cause damage. Knew what Roman had coming. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Athleticism. The moonsault takes another trip to the skies and it pays off once again. Oh, right to the kidneys. Springboard. Phoenix what? Black. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Ricochet is so evasive. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Lands face. Ooh, ruthless striking. This is just ridiculous. Look at the power. This is downright superhuman. Ricochet being grounded for the time being. And perhaps Ricochet's overzealous approach is costing him now. Golly, an endless trampling there. Superman punch. Will this be enough? One, two, three. And that's all she wrote. A hard-fought victory. Yeah, big win for that young man. And Wait a minute. What's he thinking now? He's oh, thinking he's on. not finished. He wants to stop a hole in him. Corey, this match is over. The longest reigning Universal Champion in history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Paul Heyman from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing in at 295 pounds, the WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar, the Beast, the Beast, the Conqueror, the Mayor of Suplex City, Brock Lesnar has earned every nickname bestowed upon him. The most decorated combat athlete in the world gracing WWE with his presence someone's gonna take a trip to Suplex City yeah that's almost guaranteed Rock Lesnar is ready for a fight the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre has arrived and a fight is about to start we have learned that wherever McIntyre goes brutality follows Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle. And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. You know, Drew McIntyre arrived and he was the chosen one, handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. And Drew will admit that he became complacent. He went away. He got a new attitude. And now he's back bigger and badder than ever. With a vengeance, he will take whatever he wants. McIntyre laser focused. Drew McIntyre was once the handpicked chosen one of WWE. But in the end, all of his success has been the result of good old-fashioned hard work. Yeah, credit to McIntyre. Everything he's got, he earned here in WWE. He's a terrific example of the heights you can achieve when you set your mind to it. And tonight, Drew's got his mind set on continuing his success story by putting his head down and going to work in this matchup. And knowing Brock Lesnar, his mindset for this match is simple. Follow his daily regimen of eat, sleep, conquer, Repeat. You're absolutely right, Saxton. Lesnar is as methodical as he is dangerous. 
Corey, Drew McIntyre has been an absolute force here in WWE. Is Lesnar going to have to be an immovable object tonight? When hasn't Lesnar been an immovable object? Lesnar knows he has to come in and absorb everything McIntyre has, then deal it back tenfold. And this one might be headed ringside. Just muscling up their opponent. Oh, my goodness. Into the power. Oh, Brock waylays him. Punch lands. Four. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. Back into the ring. He's getting a huge boost. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Right to the ribs. Raped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. And setting him up to oh, the knee to the face. That's going to hurt. Counters. This could be an opportunity. And responds with a counter of their own. No. Oh, no, that'll break his arm. Vicious. He's taking some good hits. Lesnar unleashing his inner beast on McIntyre. Does he have him here? One, two. Oh, and he kicked out at two. Holy moly, how? Oh, no. Lesnar's about to end this. Yeah. Oh, my. That might have knocked McIntyre out. Rope breaks the hold there. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. The beast in predator mode. Arm bar, leg lock, submission. Oh, man. Quick as a cat, just like that. That was a thing of beauty. Oh, man. German suplex with the release. He's able to combat out of Brock's grip. He takes control. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, tossed aside. And now McIntyre is being neutralized. Yeah, Lesnar has not given McIntyre any space in this fight. Neckbreaker! Nowhere to go, being victimized by those Muay Thai knee strikes. McIntyre counters with power. Into the turnbuckle. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. Alley oop. Shoulders down. And got the win. That is a huge win here tonight. That was an awesome win for this young man. One of the biggest of his career by far. What a battle. Respect to both competitors. And this I love. This I absolutely love. Maybe you should have taken a page out of that kid's book in your career, Corey. Great sportsmanship. I would have hit him in the mouth. <laughs>